just need someone in my life to give it structure To handle all the selfish ways I'd spend my time without her You're everything I want but I can't deal with all your lovers You're saying I'm the one but it's your actions that speak louder Sandow and I have collaborated on different projects, um, whether it's a print project or a public art project or we did a movie together. I would say we work together pretty well. We have different strengths, I think. I don't know how to make anything in ceramic, <laughs> so <laughs> if, it, if it involves ceramics and she has to do that part. <laughs> I do different things. I also still work on paper and make paintings, but um, I tend to always go back to ceramics. And I think it's working in three dimension and um, I always found that the, the material itself is really fascinating. I love the history that, you know, it's something that as humans we found digging in the dirt and know, you know, our oldest civilizations by the pottery shards that I've left behind, so that's really fascinating. So please let me go. I w was an uh, artist in residence at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. Being in D.C., I was really interested in the, all the politics that were going on, and then I was interested historically in the work of Thomas Nast, the uh, American political cartoonist from the 1800s. He's sort of the guy that invented the Uncle Sam character. While I was there at the Smithsonian, they had drawers and drawers of his sketchbooks and his drawings and his uh, you know, prints that he did and, and so I was able to look at those and they were really inspiring. So this piece represents an expression of contemporary women. I am a woman it's called and it's based on a civil rights poster. I am a man. It has a lot of personal meaning, uh, things, words that I've heard personally, uh, text that I've put in it. It's daily life. Uh, a lot of the words and text come from personal experience. The idea of using the blue and white is intentional, it's sort of familiar to most people, even if it's, they don't understand why, like, it's, it's just so common around the globe and culturally and everything. When you first approach, maybe it's familiar or beautiful, and then as you get closer and you kind of see and read into it a little bit more, that, that my hope is there's like this shift that could happen. So intentionally, yeah, I, I play with that. So that tension between beautiful and vile, or funny and sad, or heartbreaking, like those sort of things. I like to have that contrast within a piece, in every piece, really. Yeah, well, we've done two big woodblock print projects, working with a, a printer named Paul Maloney, who uh, we came up with the idea of what the images should be or what we wanted to do and then he said well we should do them as wood blocks. They started as small drawings that were then blown up really big on like a copy machine and then he would glue them onto birch plywood and then we would carve through the paper and through into the wood and then when we're all done carving uh, he uses water to remove all the paper and lets it dry and then we have a carved wood block to print with. Yeah, we have two murals over there on uh, Fifth Street, the discovery of Long Beach. It's a fictional scene, it's sort of a spoof of history, but it's like a whole group of explorers on horseback, like riding over a hill, and they see down below, they see like all of Long Beach as it is with the buildings and... Like the, and like the pyramid and... Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty cool. Sando and I, as you know, we're, we're partners in life and sometimes we collaborate in, in work and art as well. Um, and sometimes those lines sort of blur. So if we're at home and we're talking about the news or politics, we're frustrated about something, and um, which is somewhat how the big woodblock came about. The American Procession Project came about for a way to make a commentary on politics in the United States, but in a way that was 
subtle that was uh, more thought provoking rather than just make an artwork that says this is what I believe and you know that's this is the only thing. So so we came up with this procession that uh, were two parades marching together where one side of the parade is all people from the left side of American history and the other side of the parade is all people from sort of the right wing of American history. The idea was that yeah we put it up and it would continue a conversation and it wasn't sort of again meant to be a didactic sort of message or something you had to learn. It was yeah just meant as a for a conversation.